Hello everybody, Lego back here, and today I'm doing a model showcase. Three models actually. The first one I'll show off is Thomas. It's more of a refined version of Thomas rather than an actual like modification, sort of. Let me push him out for you. As you can see, the first thing from the side that you can see from the videos I've had past of sh featuring Thomas, he's got a proper dome now. I've never had time to establish that I bought a blue dome and changed the black one. Second thing, if you also look closely, you can see that part of his front sticks out a bit. That's because I created a new face mold. And here it is, ladies and gents. It's more of Thomas's confused face. Let's bring him closer. It's not the best face. It's a bit better than my original one. But it's all right. I like it. Next thing on the agenda, you can see from the side as well. I've extended this smoke box because when I was looking at stock images, I realized something. My smoke box is actually only two studs long. And so the meaning that since it was only two studs long, whenever you took his face off, it just looked super weird. But anyways, that's not the point. It also didn't match it because his front box stuck out in pictures, and mine didn't. So I had to fix it, making it so now it's three studs long, making him a bit longer, boy. He's still 18 studs wide in normal lengths. Anyways, let's get on to the next model. Away with you, Thomas. From the clackety clacks coming down the tracks, the one that's blue, but number two. It's Edward. I know that was cheesy. I just had to do it. <laughs> Anyways, as you can see, I built the main frame of Edward. His drying wheels, his boiler, kind of, his cab the front of his smoke box, the running board itself, and his front bogey. I'm using black Lego standard small wheels for his front bogey as I haven't bought the Big Ben Bricks small Lego blue front training wheels, I guess. Anyways, as you can see, his cab is five steps long, and it really, it should be four, if you take in the measurements of Edward, as this, this right here is two studs long, but in reality, that's one centimeter. Now, it's actually two set. Well, I'm using Bachmann's scale for a stock image. In that picture, the cab is actually, uh, well, four sets long, or two centimeters. But I made it five. The reason is, I'm using a type of window that can't really be, like, shown, or else it would look too awkward. I can still show it from the front. It wouldn't look too bad. I mean, yeah, you're, I'm using the Hogwarts Express kind of thing. Zoom. Anyways, you can see. I zoom in a bit. You can see his cab windows pretty well. Anyways. You can see from the front. You can see straight. But also, as you can see from the front, this side's entirely off, and his bogeys come off. thing about his bogey is I'm using a little pin axle on the bottom, for both of these things, so it's not, it doesn't have a very secure connection, you can see. It does work though, just, it's, you have to be careful when pulling them up, or else things like this can happen. So, he and Thomas can run together, just the thing is, let me, let me get him rolling along. This is what happens to Thomas every time. I rebuilt Edward, I guess. His face is appropriate for how he feels towards this. I'm using Thomas's driving wheels. I have no other wheels other than those. I was planning on using a trailing wheel as well, because I saw some videos and I was like, man, maybe that'll work. But I was like, well, that's actually useless. That's actually useless. Why did I do that? So I use his driving wheels instead. His cab, it's got really nothing. Just darkness and a bit of light. 
as I said, I'm working on the boiler. I'm I'm going to get side rods, proper side rods from Bricklink, and proper wheels from Big Ben Bricks, and also with the boiler itself from Big Ben, Big ben Bricks. Tell me if you want me to pinstripe his side I running board, I guess, to to red like I did with Thomas's lining, so it might cover up the white. Tell me if you want that in the comments below. The final model I have today is not actually a rail vehicle. It's a railed one. It's still from the railway series though. And it's Terence the Tractor. As you can see here is actually a pretty stumpy model. Pretty short as well. Doesn't have much to him. He's simple. But it works fairly decently. You can see I used two tiles to recreate his face. Doesn't have that black marking on top. He does have his farmer as his owner. Has a black back thing. I don't know what this is. He does have a little coupling at the bottom so you can hook him up to things and then so he can actually pull them along. I do have deleted footage of Thomas Terrence in the snow that I never uploaded because it was trashy. And that I also had Annie and Clarabel that were super rushed. That's just side things. I also included his pistons, the side they can move up and down. And you can take his treads off. His treads don't work because they're entirely brick built, but you can take them off at least. Here's how his wheels look underneath it. They still, um, I mean these back ones can move, these ones can't because they hold this in place, but still. It looks fairly decent. And there you go. Thanks for watching. And goodbye.